Welcome to Alvarez vs. Meltzer, the show where I challenge the star rating of the one and only Dave Meltzer. My name is Ryan Alvarez, and today we are taking a look at the I Quit match for the WWE Championship between champion John Cena and challenger John Bradshaw Layfield from WWE Judgment Day 2005. Meltzer gave this match a four and a quarter star rating out of five. Let's see if I agree. So at WrestleMania 21, Cena beats JBL to win his first major championship in WWE. He's had a run with the United States Championship, uh, but never got to the big one yet. Um, so since that WWE Championship win, his career and life have taken off. Um, he's making music, music videos, uh, movies, um, and he's throwing out uh, the first pitch at the Boston Red Sox game. Um, uh, Cena challenges JBL to an I quit match, um, to which he accepts, uh, JBL with a great line in this video package saying the words I quit means you own another man's soul. And that is the perfect, I think, description of an I quit match. Um, so entrances for this one, uh, kind of the tale of it, it, it's it's a tale of two characters here. Um, JBL out with his white limo, um, you know, big hat, um, you know, very just very just pompous, and then you see John Cena. Um, he comes out on the bed of an eighteen wheeler with a DJ, um, you know, and then he walks across the hood of JBL's limo. He kicks the bull horns off the front in the process. Um, back and forth to start here. JBL hits a DDT, goes for a quick pin. Um, it garners some boos from the crowd because what's one thing you can't do in an I quit match? Pin. It doesn't mean anything. So he definitely gets some heat from that. Um, Cena reverses off the ropes, hits a back body drop, and clotheslines JBL out of the ring. We're into the crowd now. Uh, JBL with a DDT onto the concrete, um, and I'm taking commentary's word on this one because um, through the mass, uh, just just through the just the amount of bodies that were in the way as they were trying to get this camera shot, um, it did not work. Um, uh, but we get back to ringside. JBL takes apart the Spanish announce table, um, and a constant theme throughout this match. Obviously, you know, the goal is for your opponent to say, I quit. Um, and we get moments where JBL is like berating John Cena just to say, I quit, say it. And then some expletives are followed. But um, JBL takes the belt off of the timekeeper's pants, <laughs> uh, starts whipping and choking Cena. He pulls John Cena onto the American announce table. But Cena quickly counters the back body drop through the Spanish announce table. Um, it's kind of a weird spot. The back body drop was fine, but JBL landed like in a seated position. <laughs> like when he fell, it was literally boom, and that was it. It was it was strange. I had never seen that before. It's always like a shoulder or uh, like he like you roll onto it almost, but. Uh, Cena now grabs a TV monitor, hits JB on the face. Then this is my one of my bigger issues with this match is we here on Alvarez versus Meltzer. We just watched um, in the previous episode. We watched JBL versus Eddie Guerrero from Judgment Day 2004, and they recreate like spot for spot here. Um, JBL over the American announce table. Face turns uh, to work the crowd. Or, you know, Eddie was checking on the referee because of the ref bump. Um, JBL gets a steel chair. Face turns around and gets hit in the head very violently. Uh, and he does a bad blade job. And I didn't want to see that. Um when when you watch them back to back like that, I guess it I guess it's a little bit more egregious, um, but it was per spot, and you know I'm definitely gonna dock it for that. 
But JBL in full control now. Uh, three clotheslines back to back to back. Starts choking John Cena with his own chain. Uh, he gets to see his face taunting him. Obviously telling him to quit once more. He does not. Uh, Cena starts to turn into Super Cena. I know that wasn't a thing until the late uh, 2000s, but here in his early WWE Championship run, it definitely was a thing. Uh, John hits a five-knuckle shuffle, an FU, and then JBL wisely rolls out of the ring, starts heading in the back. Um, Cena catches up to him right next to JBL's limo, uh, slams JBL onto the hood of it. Both men are now standing on the hood of the car. Uh, JBL swinging neckbreaker onto the hood of this car. Uh, over by the sound equipment now, uh, JBL starts to choke Cena with an electrical cord. Uh, but Cena counters and throws JBL headfirst into a TV. Uh, and now he's busted open. Blood for everyone. Uh, Cena throws JBL into the window of the limo. Now both men are on the roof of the limo. Uh, JBL going for a suplex, but Cena counters with one of his own. JBL tries to escape in the limo, so he got off the roof and is now trying to get in for whatever reason. Um, uh, Cena catches him, throws him into the door twice, and the door breaks off of his hinges. Um, I'm sure some of the areas on this limo have been modified um, to make it a little bit easier to take the bumps. Um, but now we move to the flatbed 18 wheel truck that John Cena came in on. Uh, JBL hits a DDT, then starts choking Cena with the microphone cord. Cena takes the microphone, hits JBL in the head. Uh, Cena rips off a big smokestack from the actual truck. Uh, he goes at JBL with it until he screams, I quit. He's like, John, no, 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 I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit. Very uh, cowardly. Um, it goes right with JBL's character, which I liked. Um, Cena is then announced the winner. He retains, uh, but then he still hits JBL with the smokestack, uh, sending all the fans home happy. Um, so with that being said, do I agree with Dave Meltzer? Uh, I don't. Um, I'm going to give this three and a half stars out of five. Um, I'll be honest, though. The, the, for me, it was almost stroke for stroke, uh, like JBL versus Eddie Guerrero. And um, I was less invested in it once I kind of caught on to that. And I don't know if it's the JBL factor in that or if they were just like, oh, oh, you know, the match from last year was great. Let's do it again. Um, the hardcore aspect of this match was very good, um, but the wrestling really wasn't existent, uh, for most of it, um, and it dragged, um, obviously the right man won, um, this was peak face Cena, other than when he came back from the 08, or came back and reappeared at the 2008 Royal Rumble, um, so if you're looking at the two Judgment Day matches side by side, I would recommend to watch the JBL Eddie Guerrero match over this. Um, but this, but but this match was good for what it was. You at home, what did you think about this match? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe, as well as visiting our social media links in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on Alvarez versus Meltzer.